Hello, so here's an example of why using gists to share the code that you have problems with in SCN uh, is really useful, useful for the uh, helpers to help you. So here's an example of um, a problem that uh, Ugo was having and he posted a little snippet which is great, gives us context, but more importantly he created a complete um, example, running example as a gist and he's pointed to it here. So let's have a look at the gist. There it is, we can see that um, He's got an index.html and a controller, start controller JS, and also a view. Uh, we can very, very simply from here bring this into a running uh, component on our local laptop. So let's clone it. I'll just copy this uh, clone URL. I'll open up my prompt and clone that whole application that Uber's having problems with into my onto my local machine. There it is in this directory called 832 and so on. And you can see those three files. Let's have a look at what it looks like. We've got the index, we've got the start controller, and we've got the start view. We can see there that Uber's already pointed out uh, probably something that's not working. Uh, in order to run this, of course, there's a couple of things that we'll probably have to change. All our environments are different, but um, it's not a big deal. It's UI 5 latest libs is where my local copies of the UI5 SDKs live. Uh, and I can see that also uh, all the files are in the same directory. There's no hierarchy, but Uber's using here um, a UI5 test um, prefix here or a test folder. So let's just add that uh, data sap uh, Uh, all we have to do is to say, well, where we see a UI5 test, actually it's held in this same directory. There we go. We don't need that local resources anymore. So let's have a quick look at uh, to see whether we can see this running. Let's go to our web browser again, open up a new prompt. There's our folder and there we have, we've got our program or the whole application from Uber that we can then start working on to see why it doesn't work. And that's it.